Welcome to For Goodness Cake. I'm your host Scott Campbell and today I'll be showing you how to make and decorate your own cupcakes. So let's get started. You'll need 150 grams of castor sugar, butter and flour, three eggs, some vanilla extract and cupcake cases. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 180 degrees. If you're using a fan assisted oven, set it to 160. If it's a gas oven, set it to number four. First, we're gonna mix the butter and sugar together until it's nice and light and fluffy. Once you've done that, it should have this kind of consistency. Once you're happy with this mixture, put it to one side and we'll beat the egg. Now we're going to add half the eggs to the mixture and mix it together. Now we need to put the eggs to one side and add in half the flour. I need to alternate between the eggs and the flour to stop the mixture from curdling. Make sure you manage to get all the flour in the bowl, unlike me. Now we're going to add the rest of the egg, give it a mix, and then sieve in the remainder of the flour. This is just a basic sponge mix, but now we're going to add some vanilla extract for extra flavouring. One teaspoon should be enough for this mixture. Well that's the mixture finished, and now we're going to divide it into cases. A good way to measure out the mixture is to use an ice cream scoop. This helps give a more even amount. Now it's time to put these in the oven. We're going to put these in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're golden. While the cupcakes are in the oven, let's make the frosting. You'll need 150 grams of icing sugar, 75 grams of butter and food colourings. First you need to soften the butter in the bowl using a spoon. Now we're going to add the icing sugar and use a sieve to make sure that there aren't any lumps. Just like that. Now we're going to add a bit of vanilla extract to give it some ooh la la. Remember to add a splash of milk to thicken the mixture. Got milk. If you want to add a splash of colour to your cupcakes, now is the time in the recipe to add the food colouring. Add as much as you need to make sure that you get an even consistency throughout the whole thing. I'm going to use blue. That looks about right. Here's the cakes right out of the oven. Well that's a simple recipe for cupcakes and frosting. There's hundreds of different flavour combinations and you can find most of them on our website. But don't be afraid to experiment and try your own ideas. Now we're going to frost the cupcakes. First we're going to take a piping bag and spoon the mixture in. Then you just squeeze the mixture down and twist it at the top. Now just snip the end off the piping bag. There are lots of different styles of piping. I'm just going to do the classic swirl. All you need to do is start at the outside and work your way into the top. Practice makes perfect. If you want to see other ways of piping, check out our website at bakingthelaw.tumblr.com. There you'll find recipes, instructional videos and much more. Now I'm going to show you a few different ways to decorate your cupcakes. To decorate you'll need a variety of your favourite toppings. You can use marshmallows, jam or any other sweets you can get your hands on. First I'll show you a simpler technique for frosting. If the swirl technique's a little too tricky, just pipe little peaks all over the top of your cupcake. It's unusual but it still looks very cool. If you don't like frosting, why not try something different? Marshmallow works just as well. 
This is marshmallow fluff and you can get it at most American sweet shops and online. Try and be as creative as you want, it's all about what you like. Sometimes a simple decoration can be just as effective. Here are a few of my favourites. Something as easy as a sprinkle of glitter or even adding your favourite sweet as a topping. If you prefer a classic touch, why not put a cherry on top? If that's a bit too much fuss for you, why not add a filling? It's easy, just before you frost the cake, cut a small segment from the centre. Don't cut right down to the bottom of the cake or that'll cause the filling to leak. Fill with whatever gets the old taste buds tingling. Jam, Nutella and poppin' sweets are some of the things that I usually use. My final tip of the show is a cupcake in a jar. It's perfect as a gift or to fulfil your cupcake fix on the go. All you need to do is add layers of frosting, cake and anything you want. Well that's all we've got time for today. Thanks for joining me and I hope you've all had fun. If you're looking for today's recipe or just some general instructions, remember to visit our website at bakingthelaw.tumblr.com. And that's cake for now.